that's a good face. This is Devon and the Celestial Necropolis by Film Cow, aka Jason Steele. The moniker Jason Steele. anyone will actually end up watching this live, but I think this will be fun to go through. Uh, Devon died, and at some point he was resurrected. Uh, this takes place between those two points. We can learn more about Devon through the month of series on the Film Cow YouTube channel if you feel like it. I don't know anything else about this. I, I know that it's version 1.0. Toilet-shaped coffee mug at a Scrooge's gift. <laughs> oh well, there are worse ways to go. You feel yourself fading. Fading. Life is over, but a new journey has just begun. Hello. Welcome to my celestial necropolis. It's Devon. My name is Devon. I am someone you can trust. Well, do you trust me? Yes, I trust you completely, Devon. Yes! <laughs> Team building! <laughs> Hold on one sec, I'm getting a call. Yes, this is Devon. Ah, I see. Thank you for letting me know. Do you know who that was? That was God. That's right. The God. Monotheistic Necropolis. God was telling me about how you died bleeding on the floor of a Spencer's Gifts. A novelty toilet mug, huh? No worse way to go, really. But I thought there were worse ways to go. We have a lot in common, you and I. We both had our lives stolen from us before it was our time. What's that, God? You agree with me? Great! Wonderful to be on the same page. It's not our fault, friend. We shouldn't be here in this celestial necropolis. Don't get me wrong, it's a wonderful celestial necropolis. I should know. I built it. But it's a means to an end. The best of a bad deal. I don't like bad deals. Never have. And I'm willing to bet that you don't either. Together, I think we can fix this little problem. Together we can return to Earth continue living the lives we were meant to live. What do you think about that? I'm in. You know I'm in. I knew you looked like someone who could spot an opportunity. I must rest now. 
Lots of small naps throughout the day. That's the key. We have a beautiful future together. Our destinies are forever linked. Please, do not wander outside the confines of the celestial necropolis. If you do, you will be lost forever. Forever. Also, do not speak to anyone. We are alone. There is no one else here. The celestial necropolis can play tricks on the mind. We are alone. Speak to no one. Alright, time for a power nap. <laughs> he just went down. Devin falls asleep on the celestial floor directly below you. His eyes are still open, but you are certain he is asleep. He warned you not to travel too far. However, there's probably no harm in looking around. I like to think his eyes are having rapid eye movement. An imposing planet floats beyond the rocks of the celestial necropolis. For the first time you realize how cold it must be out here in space, and yet you feel nothing. You are dead. Really and truly dead. Hey! Buddy! Over here! <laughs> yes! Ha <laughs> ha Another one! Another one! Hi! Yes! Hello! I'm Claire. This is one of my trophies. Please don't freak out. I want it for harvesting the most souls. Your soul is safe. I am so good at soul harvesting. Look at these. I'm a winner. <laughs> Do you want to be a winner? Winner of what? Oh good. Hesitation. You clearly don't share my passion for success. Which is good. It's very good. Listen. I donked up. I can admit that. I'm sure you've done some donking in your day. We've all donked. It's fine. What I want to do is undo the donk. I want to kill and bury all the donk. I have reachable goals and an actionable plan. <laughs> How would you like in on a once in a lifetime opportunity? I I'm already doing something with Devon. Ah, yes. I predict you'll eventually reconsider that. It's nice to feel like a winner. To feel like you've conquered something. To feel a harvested soul struggling uselessly in your firm grip. I must begin preparations. Do not freak out. All will be explained. I will explain everything! Don't tell Devin we met. Don't tell Devin anything. He's going to harvest you. He's a liar and he wants your soul. See ya! Don't trust Evan. Goodbye. With that, Claire disappears behind some celestial rocks. You decide to look around some more. That was a nice chat. You float toward the star at the center of the celestial necropolis. There is a feeling you get here that you can't quite put your finger on. Or touch, or feel, or put your finger on. Oh, it's dread. You feel lots of dread here around this star. You jump in surprise as a hand touches your shoulder. I'm sorry for startling you. I was just wondering what you were doing here in this terrible place. Did someone tell you to come here? We're the only two people around. Did someone tell you to come? I don't get a blind yes Devon choice this time. I have to either lie or be pushy. Hmm. Well, clearly she was a figment of my imagination unlike this beautiful fellow, so I haven't really seen anyone. That's right. I haven't seen anyone. No one else is here. Tell me. What do you know about the human soul? Actually, let me tell you what I know. They're worthless. Human souls are worthless. You hear that, God? Worthless. <laughs> he seems like a nice chap. Wait, what? Are you sure? Well, you would know. You are God, after all. Friend, I just had the most disturbing conversation with God. God told me you're hiding something. Hiding something from your only friend, Devon. 
Now why would you do that? It just doesn't make sense. I'm someone you can trust. I'm Devin. Sorry, we're getting off track. The human soul. You know which souls aren't worthless? Insect souls. Sure, insects have tiny souls, but they're strong. And there are so many of them. Imagine what one could do with, say, a whole swarm of insect souls. Wow. The possibilities. The potential! I'm sorry. We're not yet on the same page. I'm sure most of this doesn't make sense. I've been here too long. I don't belong here. I need you to do something for me. There's a nebula nearby. It's very thick. A very thick nebula. Thick enough that some creep could be hiding in there, and we would never know. There could be creeps in the nebula. Do you understand? Of course you understand. You're very smart. Smart enough not to listen to the lies of a creep hiding in a nebula. Can you do this favor for me? Can you check the nebula for creeps? It's a very important job, and you're the only one I can trust with it. Yeah, sure. Excellent. We work so well together. If you find any creeps, don't let them too close to your soul. Even more importantly, don't let them talk to you. Remember, creeps lie. They cannot be trusted. Trust me. Devon has fallen back asleep with his eyes open. As one does, you make your way toward the nebula. This nebula is indeed very thick. If there are any creeps hiding here, they're going to be super hard to find. Uh... What are you doing here? This is the executive hiding area, and you're not at an... And you're not an executive yet. Devin told me to check here for creeps. Oh, well there are no creeps here, just me. My preparations are just about complete. Soon, Zothrofrox will be released from the internal inferno orb and Devin will be imprisoned once again. Uh, oh yeah, you don't actually know about any of this, do you? The Celestial Necropolis was a prison. It still is, but Devon runs the show now. When Devon arrived, he formed a business entity with some of the other prisoners. Like me! He had a plan to get us back to Earth, through targeted soul harvesting and strategic reinvestment. I was consistently a top harvester. I even harvested the other business partners. At Devon's request, of course. Was it wrong? Sure, but that's why I'm in prison. I'm dangerous! I never thought Devin would turn on me, even though he turned on everyone else. I was the top harvester! Luckily, I embezzled a bunch of the souls for myself. I was harvesting so many, he never even noticed. When he ripped my soul in half, I was able to use the embezzled souls as a sort of soul solve. And now we're going to free Zothrofrox, the true guardian of the Celestial Necropolis. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm always ready. I am absolutely not ready. Okay, that sucks, but there's no other choice at this point, and your part is really easy. What I need you to do is distract Devon with intellectual musings while I activate the Celestial Necropolis' emergency lockdown systems. The emergency lockdown will suck all of us into the Eternal Inferno Orb, which is what the sun is called here. The Internal Inferno Orb is where Devon put Thothrofrax. It's the hardest place to escape from in the entire Celestial Necropolis. Once inside, I'll be able to free Zotzer Fox using the souls I've trapped in my trophies. I don't even remember how many I have stuffed in here, but it's a lot! Alright, let's do this. Remember, distract Devon with clever philosophical talk. I'll get us sucked into the internal inferno. That sounds pleasant. Zotzer Fox, we're coming. We are? Unsure what else to do, you float back to the star where Devon was sleeping. Hi, Devon. Ah, there you are. While you were gone, I had the strangest dream. I was standing in a meadow of unspeakable beauty. It was a warm day, but there was a 
fragrant breeze, and the ground felt cool under my feet. The sweet scent of grass and flowers brought me into a state of serenity I hadn't felt in years. And then I realized something was wrong. Terribly wrong. Where was my good friend from the celestial necropolis? Why were they not standing in the meadow beside me, enjoying the fruits of our escape? A dire thought crossed my mind. What if my friend had been led astray? What if they had fallen victim to a serpent's lies, and were thus unable to join me in salvation? Or what if my friend had never actually been my friend? It really was the strangest dream. So, did you find any creeps? Well, I guess I'm gonna distract him with intellectual musings whether I want to or not. Alright, Devon, why does anything exist? Asking the big questions, I see. The answer is because we have ambition, and thus reality formed itself to offer us opportunity. Are you satisfied? Has your thirst for answers been quenched? Now, did you find any creeps? What is a creep, really? Hmm. <laughs> you did meet a creep in the nebula, didn't you? Did the creep ask you to play these deceptive games with me, your best friend? Talk to me. I'm Devin. I'm the one you can trust. I really wanted to stand with you in that meadow. This could have been an equitable partnership. <sighs> what a disappointment. You feel as though your whole body has been pushed through a fine mesh strainer. The universe is gone. You are gone. You have been unmade and yet are still conscious and aware of yourself, aware of your own lack of form and, and essence. It sucks. Don't move. <laughs> A woman appears before you, seemingly from out of thin air. I need the bathroom. I will be right back. So I am back. For a second I was worried that it was going to end already. I am glad that a woman has appeared before me seemingly from out of thin air. Who are you? I barely even know who I am. I don't know how to answer on this one. Ah, yes, of course. My name is Zap. Oh, I see. Or... Zathrafrax for long. 
I built the celestial necropolis out of my shattered corpse. No, I will not explain. All you need to know is, I am beyond your comprehension. Not beyond comprehension, beyond your comprehension. She seems nice. Got it? Great. So, who is left out there? Anyone good? a few months ago. But, I guess Claire and Devon work quick. This next question is very important. It's maybe the most important question you'll ever be asked. Did you really get killed by a falling novelty toilet mug at a Spencer's Gifts? You don't have to answer. Your face just answered. I was really hoping that part of the historical record was true. <laughs> Alright. To the task at hand! Now that this inferno orb is on lockdown, I have operational control again. The only way for Devon to regain control is through the neural web. That's where he will go. Have you ever been inside an eternal inferno's neural web? Well, you're about to. Because I'm not letting you out of my sight. Not for a moment. You are not to be trusted! Off we go! Once again, you find yourself in a state of unmaking. You still exist, but without a time or place. It feels like you've melted, and are being carried away by a smooth current. I suppose that sounds marginally, marginally less unpleasant than last time. Yeah, this place always makes my ears pop. Hello, that's her Frax. Devin. Lovely to see you again. You were right, you know, about the souls. Of course I was. They're worthless. For escaping my celestial necropolis, yes. You can't break the containment using the thing that's being contained. That's just logic. I have so much more that I need to do. Think of what I could accomplish with your help, thoughts are frogs. Think of the synergy. <laughs> I wish you had listened to literally anything I told you. So much of this nonsense could have been avoided. Everyone needs to stop and listen now and then, even you, Devon. I cannot stop while opportunity looms on the horizon, and I see a whole universe of opportunity before me. A tangled web of harmonic paradigms. It's beautiful beyond description. My power is now yours, Zatherfrax! Yeah! Yeah. Ow. Dang. Stop hitting me with that. I gave you my souls. Now you can use their soul power! Uh, thanks, but I don't need them. Not to brag, but... My own soul is kind of in another league. Oh. Cool, cool. I just thought it would help with the... Devon situation. The only Devon situation is that Devon doesn't understand the situation. I not understand. There is no escaping my celestial necropolis. But you are leaving my celestial necropolis. Any moment now. Are you letting me go? Of course not. If I had a choice, you would be locked here forever. But this is a prison for the dead. You're not going to be dead. Your friends on Earth did some ritual, and your body is recomposing as we speak. I see. I cannot believe they managed to pull that off. It was a plan D for me at best. Oh, huh. There it is. I can feel it. Excellent. Yes. Well, I apologize for all the trouble I might have caused. Opportunity awaits. Farewell. Bye, Devon. Yeah! Get out of here, you jerk! We did it! As a team! Alright, Claire. Time to go back outside. I'm a winner! Prisoner of the month! <sighs> As for you, you'll need to go through orientation. Yes, orientation. You're a prisoner. There's a reason you were brought here. You're dangerous! That night, 
as you floated amongst the stars of the celestial necropolis, you had a dream. Hello again, friend. Were we friends? I like to think so. I wish you could have joined me here, in Salvation. The opportunities available to me right now are simply unbelievable. However, we all must follow our own path. Hello? Oh! Hi again, God. Yes, I know. My friend really did choose the worst path imaginable. Wow! Even you as God can't understand how they made such poor decisions? Harsh, but fair. Okay, I will let them know. Good talking to you. That was God. They wanted you to know that they forgive you for being such an incredible disappointment. I forgive you too. Who am I to act any different than God? Well, I have places to see and people to be. And some beehives to check on. I hope that while you float eternally in that absurd celestial void, you take some small amount of comfort knowing that your good friend Devon is out there making it happen. Take care of yourself, because no one else will. What a nice man. I choose you, save file. Yeah. So I think that's the only ending it said as much in the trailer. Also, I don't see how any of the dialogue options could have led to anything else. I chose the most Devon-oriented choices I could, and Devon ended up telling me I was an incredible disappointment to him and to God. <sighs> that was pretty fun. Bit of a downer, but otherwise good. If you enjoyed that, uh, you can find tons of absurdist videos on Jason Steele's YouTube channel, Film Cow, and he has a bunch of uh, metaphysical uh, novelettes. My favorite of which is probably Where is All the Goo? I've been streaming for 28 minutes, but I think my uh, heart is, if anything, more full of Devon than I want it to be, and I need some time to get him out of there. I think that's a full night of gameplay, and insofar as that was gameplay, so I'm going to call it here. Devon and the Celestial Necropolis has stopped working. Windows is checking for a solution to the problem. <laughs> oh, Windows. There's no solutions for you here. Only Devon. Close program. Yeah. Alright. Uh, thanks for watching. If anyone watched. And good night.